Hello and welcome to my Funding Circle blog YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be investing in a platform called Rebuilding Society as part of my £1,000 challenge to see if I can make more money than I do in Funding Circle in other peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. Um, Rebuilding Society is similar to Funding Circle in some ways. It, uh, it also lends to SMEs, uh, is mainly unsecured lending and so has very high rates um, comparable to what you can get on Funding Circle. There's also a secondary market which will allow us to actively invest and buy and sell the, um, the loans that we've bought on uh, the platform with other investors. Um, but there are also quite a few differences. Um, the first one to note is that the platform and the layout is, uh, in my opinion, a bit more basic than what Funding Circles is. But I'm more interested in the, the substance um, of the platform, so uh, I'm not too bothered about the aesthetics. Um, one thing to point out is that the way you put money into the platform is a bit different um, to other platforms as well. You have to um, press a button to let them know how much money you're going to put in and then you have to actually go into your online banking account and transfer the money to their account. Uh, after which they will credit your um, your account balance on the, the platform. Um, I can't say I sort of liked that process. It wasn't um, as direct and instantaneous as uh, the way you can deposit funds on Funding Circle. Um, but I received my account balance within about an hour, so it wasn't too bad in the end. Um, I'm going to have a look at the net returns on this platform to begin with and the reason for that is um, if you do any online research uh, about rebuilding a society or if you read about it on reviews um, or forums it tends to get a lot of criticism and I think when you look at the histogram it's quite obvious to see why the returns on this platform are pretty wild. Um, they can the they can range quite a lot, so the volatility is probably higher than Funding Circle, which is already considered quite a volatile um, platform because it's unsecured lending and has higher interest rates. Now, a lot of people have lost money on that. Um, this that's part of that volatility, um, and you can see that those losses can go anywhere towards twenty percent and above. Um, but on the other side, uh, most people do make money. Most people are in the in the area around six to nine percent. Quite a lot of people have made over ten percent, and uh, a lot of people have made more than twenty percent as well. And that's why I'm interested in this platform because if we can um, use active investing, then the fact that other people have made um, returns over twenty percent means that. I just need to figure out a way of doing that and um, because of the similarities with Funding Circle I'm going to try to use the same strategy that I've outlined in my book to, um, to see if I can beat the returns that I'm going to make uh, in my new Funding Circle account that I'll be running alongside this one. Um, so I'm not too concerned about the criticism that this platform gets. Um, I think it's it's quite understandable that people who have lost money, especially that much money, will get very frustrated and angry about it and they will vent that frustration online. Whereas the people who are making money, um, especially if it's over 20%, are probably keeping quiet about it. So there's probably a bit of an imbalance in terms of the reviews that it's getting and I think you're a lot more likely to read the bad stuff and you just you never see the good side of it. So um, I'm going to try to be impartial here and go with what the histogram tells me and try to make a bit of money on this platform. Um, one way to get started is by going into the primary market. Um, you'll see that uh, Rebuilding Society doesn't have anywhere near the number of loans that are issued on Funding Circle. Um, today, I think they've issued about £12 million worth, which is probably what Funding Circle does in a day. Um, there are two here, 
Um, one of them is probably unlikely to fund. Um, I've had a look at it. It's not a great loan, so I can see why. Um, but the other one um, probably will fund quite soon. Um, so this is a way that you can um, get involved. And it's, it's kind of better in a way because if... If you saw a loan on Funding Circle that was paying, you know, 19, 20%, that loan would get placed within minutes. You know, it's very unlikely that you'd be able to get hold of that on the primary market. Whereas because Rebuilding Society doesn't have as many investors, um, it gives you more of a chance to get involved from the beginning. And not only that, you actually get quite a lot of information compared to Funding Circle. Um, they they tell you a bit more about what the company does. Um, I mean, the business descriptions that you get on Funding Circle can be quite brief these days. Um, it tells you um, exactly who else is bidding on it and how much. Um, it gives you quite a detailed breakdown of the profile, what the funds are going to be used for, um, what the net worth of a person is. So we can see um, that this person's net worth is around 45,000. So, you know, if he's borrowing money for around 27,000 and he fails to pay, then as long as there's a personal guarantee, um, then you know, we'd be able to try to recover some of that money. Um, we can also look at the finances like we can on Funding Circle. Annoyingly, they don't put commas um, in the numbers, but you can read what they are. And I'm going to use the same financial analysis that I've used in my book. Um, it's important to look at the other outstanding loans that this company has. Um, you can see there's actually one here from Funding Circle. Um, we might be junior to these loans, which means that we could be um, the last ones in the queue if the, if the company does go down. So if we see here, um, the total outstanding loans are around 20,000. They want to borrow another 26, 27. If his net worth is what 46, 47,000, 45, okay, then he probably has enough money to cover all those loans um, if we had to go after his personal guarantee, um, which uh, is part of this loan. Now, the way you bid for a loan on Rebuilding Society is um, the same as it used to be on Funding Circle. So it's a pure bidding system which is quite interesting because you can bid anywhere from four to 20% and you can choose the amount here, the number of bids you want to do. But the thing that people used to like on Funding Circle is that you could wait until um, the end of the bidding and try to get in with a high amount. So um, it's prob probably not, I mean, most people are going in at 20%, perhaps not everybody has. Um, you can see here some people have gone in at 19%. Um, so because the loan has a whole week to fund, I think this one has another four or five days, the, the borrower could wait um, to try to get the cheapest rate possible. But if he just wants to get his funds, then he might just go with it as soon as it's been 100% placed. So if we put in a 20% uh, bid towards the end, there's a good chance he'll just take that because his average rate will be less than that because other people have bid 19%. Um, so you can't do that on Funding Circle anymore and a lot of people used to like that, um, but you can do it on Rebuilding Society. Um, it also has a secondary market. Now there are only two loans on the primary market. So if I'm going to put a thousand pounds into Rebuilding Society to challenge the thousand pounds I'm putting into Funding Circle and Property Moves, then um, I'm going to have to pick up some of the loans here. Um, so we can see um, the uh, premiums and discounts can be quite different here as well. If we go in and take a look at this loan, um, we can see the the rate that it's going for. And um, sorry, this one's loading. Okay, we're in now. Um, so you can see a list here of loans that we can buy and the premiums that you can put on are actually higher than Funding Circle. On Funding Circle, the maximum is 3%, whereas here it can go up to 5%. Um, so if we, if we choose the ones um, with the best buyer rate, then we get the best deal. Now, um, the person who bought it on the primary market might have got it at the highest rate. They might have gone in at a lower rate. 
So sometimes you can have something with a lower premium but a higher rate. That's because they got in at the end with a higher original rate than some of the other people. So um, I'm going to go in and buy up a load of loans. Um, it might take me a little bit of time, so I'm just going to pause the video and then I'll come back to you and discuss my portfolio that I've chosen. I've now gone through the Rebuilding Society secondary market and chosen the loans that I wanted to compete with my £1,000 in funding circle. There weren't as many loans to choose from as there are on funding circles, so I've used the strategy that I outlined in my book to the best of my ability, but it's not quite perfect. Um, I've, I've done what I can though, and um, I've, I've taken about 25 loans. The, uh, the exposure that I have to any one loan is about 3.5 to 5% of my capital, and the average gross return that I've got at the moment is 17.29%. Um, on funding circle, I'm around 19.8, um, so it is lower than that, but um, I, I think this is a, uh, a portfolio that can compete with the one that I've got in funding circle, and um, on the secondary market, you can, you can sell the loans for quite high premiums, so if anything, that could be what bumps me up and gets me a better return than property moves or funding circle. But I'll be reporting regularly, letting you know how I get on and um, you can see for yourself whether you want to get involved in this platform, um, stick with funding circle or try out property moves. Uh, just see how the results turn out and um, hopefully we'll all learn something from it. Thank you very much.